After an EF3 tornado destroyed much of the Jacksboro High School and elementary school last week, administrators were left searching for ways to make sure that students can continue their education without big delays. Yeah, administrators turned then to First Baptist Church of Jacksboro, the Jacksboro Parish, and the Fort Richardson Masonic Lodge, and all three welcomed students for their first day back to school. And Curtis Jackson caught up with one of the principals there today, and Curtis, this must have been a big day for both the students and also faculty. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And overwhelming for some, but Principal Michael Qualls says these kiddos are actually enjoying the temporary schools and some are even treating it like a field trip. One thing that we've learned through this is that school is not a building, it's what happens inside the buildings. For Principal Qualls and his staff, along with the students, today is a big day. This week is just focused on getting them back, saying hi to them, uh, just loving on them and playing with them today and just get back to a normal routine. A normal routine that many of these kiddos and even staff desperately need at a time like this. Our teachers have absolutely just responded to having to be flexible. Uh, they, I, I'm just, I stand amazed because they act like they've done this before and we haven't. This is, this is new to all of us. <laughs> what used to be offices and nurseries throughout the church have been turned into makeshift classrooms. Qual says God was with them on the night of the storm, so what better way to return that love than to bring these little smiles into church to learn? We truly understand that God gave us wisdom, all of us, the whole entire community of Jacksboro. God gave us wisdom and courage that day to make all the right decisions that every person, and even their animals, are still alive today. And so I just can't thank God enough for his wisdom and his courage that day. These kids were greeted by not only staff, but encouraging words posted in the walkway, something that second grade teacher Christy Stapleton says makes a huge difference for these students to see. They know the feeling of, you know, the sense of school and why school is so important and, you know, kids need a safe place to go. Um, the words of encouragement, you know, and honestly, we don't feel as teachers as heroes. We just feel like we're doing our job. A job that these educators and administrators will continue to do no matter what may come. If a tornado can't stop us, we, we're good. <laughs> we'll be good. Now, Principal Qualls says every Friday they will assess the progress made with the facility and go from there. He says there are still several ways that you can help those affected by the recent tornadoes. For more information on how to do that, head on over to TexomasHomePage.com. I just love their positive attitudes yeah. about this situation for sure. They looked like they were having fun. Yeah. Okay, Curtis, thanks so much.